So in couple of last videos, we, we learned how we can go to the next level. We learned how we can fade in and fade out. In this video, we learned how we can have a loading screen. So we have a loading screen and after that, the level will be loaded. So in here, you can see when we go to this collision box, it fade out and after that, it go to the next level, right? So now let's see how we can create a loading screen to make it more beautiful. For doing that, let's just go to content drawer in here, right click, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint. And the type user widget and in here I want to call it WBP for widget blueprint and I want to call it loading screen. I'll click on it to open it. In here right now there is nothing. I want to add the panel like canvas panel in here and after that for the background of or loading the screen I want to add an image okay and this image you can see I want to use it as a background but this image is too small. This is one way to make it big is to go and change the size x and size y but our game should be playable inside different resolutions of monitors right so this way is not okay the best way to do it by changing the anchor anchor to the uh, all the angles right so click on here and it will give us offset left offset top offset right and offset bottom because we want it to fill everything we should put all of this offset to zero okay offset from right i want it to be zero no the offset to the right is zero again if i put zero in here offset bottom it will be zero and it will fill the screen for all the resolutions that want to play our game and now i want to change the color color and opacity right now i want to use black but you can use whatever you want no let's just add some text for example let's just do it in here i want to change the the text to loading with three dot okay that's cool we can animate that you can see that in my course animating this stuff is really easy right maybe we should change the size as well so for changing the size we should go to font and change the size for example to 30 or maybe 50 okay that's good i think the position is good as well now we can add some other stuff if you go down to let me see the primitive the circle troubler in here troubler i think we can just put it in here as a loading and we can add another image for example let me find the image at top put another image in here this time i want to put this image at the middle okay so for putting an image at the middle in canvas panel again we can use the anchors in here so click on the anchors and put the middle and after that change the position to zero and zero okay now you can see it anchored to the top left of our image we want it to be at middle so we should change the alignment to 0.5 again if you want to learn about these alignment these sizes and all of that just you can watch it in my course i did talk about all of this so now let's just change the image in here okay so for doing that you should go to the brush and in here you can choose an image for example gears of war image right now it is too small so let's just add a zero to both of these like this zero and now we have a loading screen yeah of course you can add a lot of things in here but right now i think it is more than enough so let's just compile save again go to bp next level the blueprint that we create in the last videos so now in here after we fade it and we wait until if it faded out we can create this widget create this widget that we create create widget and the widget that we want to create is loading a screen okay and after that we want to add this widget to viewport right add the widget to viewport this widget so it will be added to viewport and we want it to stay for for example two seconds so we add a two second delay in here let's just put two in here for two second delay and after that it go to the next level let's just again compile save and run our game 
And in here, you can see this main menu and this level that you can see here. I did design it from scratch in our course in Udemy. And you can have the link to the Udemy course in description down below. Let's just hit play now. And you see, if I go to this collision box, first of all, it fade out. And after that, it will go to loading screen. And after that, it will go to the next level. That was it for this video, how you can create a loading screen. I hope you like it. Please, please, if you want to help me and you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's my honor to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Bye.